Mad Alliance was howling. It's Joe, aka Mad Joe FC. It's back. Don't hug me, I'm scared. It seems like it's coming back. Now, if you guys haven't seen, I've I've, I've reacted to all five or all six "Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared" videos. So, if you haven't seen those, then find them in my reactions playlist and watch them. They might be recommend recommended on this video. So, hopefully, that is the case. Um, but yeah, I've seen all the previous ones, and I'm actually excited for this. Okay. Does does that mean I'm not gonna find? Does that mean I'm not gonna think is grotesque and stuff anymore? No, the stuff that's grotesque is absolutely still grotesque and creepy and now this world crazy. Okay, so that's not gonna change. This is still disgusting. Some of the things that happened, but now that you know, I've watched all six and I've you know seen theory videos and stuff and what the you know lore and story can mean and stuff. I'm actually very excited about it. So yeah, let's 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 see what this wakey wakey video shows us. Kick back, chillax. Let's get it. I'm gonna watch it again since it was only 30 seconds, but I'm not, eh, let's. I don't know what to take for, I don't know what to take away from that. I'm serious. Um I'm going to be completely honest. I don't have any clue I'm supposed to take away from that. Now, okay. So I remember when I, you know, watched the um, first six videos for it. I was trying to figure out what this story was. I really was. I was trying to figure out what was the lore of this world. I couldn't quite figure it out. The the one thing I know I did figure out is that like there, it's all like a show, you know. And Red Guy, he kind of figured that out. But now that I've gone and watched theories and stuff about the show, um. And I actually didn't watch any of the theory videos until I saw this wakey wakey video um was out. I watched uh theory videos on the first six videos and the I watched a video from a channel called Film Theorist. And this theory I'm saying this is the legit lore of the story. It's just a theory, but this theory sounds too legit and there's just too many facts that back up this theory that it can't not be true. So I'm going to consider this theory the actual canon of the story. So basically, I'm just going to sum it up quick. But the theory is basically saying that, you know, um, this whole Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is Red Guy. is his production. is his show, basically. So Roy, which was... Um, you know, the yellow guy, basically, Roy, there was a guy named Roy who was yellow guy's dad. Basically, Roy saw, um, red guy, you know, uh, at that club, whatever it was, in the last episode, it was like a flashback. Roy saw red guy. Red guy wanted to basically do a show. Roy said, I can make the show happen, but things will go according to what I want to happen things will be on my terms and so that's basically what don't hug me i'm scared was basically it was roy's show but then you know i mean it was basically red guy's show but then you know roy 
Um, it was basically showing how, um, well, the creators basically, I guess, wanted it to be like basically showing how childhood shows, basically like Sesame Street and stuff, you know, shows like that can easily be corrupted. And so that's when all, that's why all the creepy stuff would happen about midway through the videos, you know, is that the childhood shows, they're becoming corrupt and stuff, you know, so that's what that was, um, and, yeah, so that's basically what the theory is from film theorists, and there's, he gave way too many facts to back up his theory, so I'm considering that theory the official canon, um, if you guys haven't seen the video, you definitely need to check it out, I think it's called, um, DHMIS Decoded, um, is from the channel called Film Theorist. So if you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's really good. It's a really good theory. And it's what I'm going to consider as canon. So, and basically at the end of the Don't Hope Me, I'm Scared, the reason they were different colors is because in the first episode they said what their favorite colors were. And so now that, um, you know, Red Guy and the Duck and Yellow Guy they're doing their show on their own terms now. So that's why they were all their favorite colors because they could be their favorite colors now since they're doing the show on their terms. And that's why there, there was less stuff in the room they were in because they're on a smaller budget. But it's on their terms, you know? It's not like they're not being controlled by some corporate CEO or, you know, they're not with the company or anything. It's their own thing, you know? Um, so that's what the deal with the end of the last video was. So I guess what I'll take from this is that th th Clay Hill, basically, is a beginning of a new thing. It's a, a beginning of Red Guy being able to do this show, but on his terms. That's what I'm going to... That's I, I'm guessing that's what Clay Hill is. is, is he's going to be able to do this thing on his terms. But it definitely seems like about halfway through this short teaser that things kind of started going Ari, kind of like a not good direction. I guess I want to hurt to check out some of the comments. See if they can. Uh, comments aren't really helping me too much. Um, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to take away from this, really, except that it seems like it's Roy being able to do this. Okay, well, okay, right. It shows Clay Hill. The gates are locked, though. The gates are locked. There are some television screens with the duck on it. But the duck is the one who you know, open this door. Empty room with... I'm... Remember how the first six videos that were focused on the yellow guy? You know, like, every episode or every video, like, something bad would happen to him. It was kind of focused on him. Maybe this next set of videos will be focused on the duck I don't know I really I just don't really know what to take away from this I'm gonna watch it a few more times um you know once I'm done with this video and now that I've seen because I've been waiting to watch people's theory videos on just this 30 second freaking teaser um so but I've been you know waiting to watch the wakey wakey video first before I watch theory videos on it. So now after I finish recording this, now I can go and watch um breakdowns and theory videos to get an understanding of what this means. But I'm actually excited for it. I remember it like it was a set of videos you guys were telling me about it. Um you were saying you should definitely watch these Joe and so I watched them and I tried to understand what was going on. I had a bit of a grasp you know, like I figured it was all the show. So I, I was 
a bit right. I had a bit of it figured out, but now I know just a lot more, and I'm actually really excited for this. I genuinely, I genuinely think I've never been more excited to have nightmares because I'm sure more creep. There will be more creepy, grotesque, disgusting things that'll make me flip out, and will probably give me nightmares as well. Um, I just hope that. Well, I don't know. Is it going to become like a TV series? I don't think so. I don't think it would. Like I, that's kind of, um. The you know the creators. That's what they really don't want to happen. Like they want it. They want the production and everything to stay on their terms. They want to be able to do what they want with the show. You know. Um, but there was actually in Amazing World of Gumball, it's like my all time favorite cartoon. There was actually an episode that the two creators behind the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared videos, they worked on that episode. It was a very good episode, in my opinion. Um, it felt like and don't hug, it felt like a Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared video. Um, so that was really cool. Um, so, you know, they'll, it seems like they'll do stuff like that. The creators, they'll collaborate with other networks for like maybe a one-time episode. Um, but I don't, th I don't know if they would make it, you know, a television show just because there would have to be restrictions. They wouldn't have all the creative freedom that they can do on YouTube, you know, having their YouTube channel running the whole production from their YouTube channel, they can do whatever they want. But, you know, the, in the mess, that's kind of like the message that they were trying to send, you know, Roy being the sponsor of Red Guy Show. Roy can, you know, you have, well, everything is on Red Guy's terms, you know, because Roy's his sponsor. So if Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared was to be, become a show, it seems like if they decide to do that, to partner with, a company to let it become a show it seems like it would kind of go against the message of the show overall and it seems like it would be a bit hypocritical of them to do that you know because due to the message that they're trying to send if that theory is even correct um so yeah i hope it just stays on youtube just so that the creators have all the creative freedom um but if they do decide to make it a show, then, hey, it's their decision, and I guess good for them. The You know, it'll get more exposure, but I'd rather just stay on YouTube and YouTube only, just so that they have the creative freedom that they would like, you know. Um, let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you guys took from it. Let me know your theories down below in the comments section. I would love to read them, okay? Let me know what you thought of my video down below in the comment section. Links from my social media stuff will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone you feel will enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button to join the Mad Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. And ding dong the notification bell to be notified of when I upload a new video. My name is Joe, aka Matt and Joe FC. I hope you all have a marvelous day. Matt out. Mad, strong, together.